Hi guys, it's Loie. Today's video is going to be my Aurora from Sleeping Beauty inspired makeup tutorial and of course I'm going to show you what I did to my hair and show you my full Aurora inspired outfit. Growing up, Aurora was never one of my favorite princesses. There was something kind of abnormal to me about a girl who sleeps the majority of the story. Being a princess, I don't know. Now that I'm older, I love her and I love the story of Sleeping Beauty, so I really wanted to do something kind of fun and different with the makeup. So it's a lot of pink and I really, really like the way that it turned out. It's not really so harsh that you can't wear it during the day, but it's also not just neutrals, if you know what I mean. Anyways, if you want to know how I did this Aurora from Sleeping Beauty inspired makeup look, then stay tuned. I pinned my bangs and fringe that I was going to leave down with this ponytail out of my face for the time being just so it's not in my way. And I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with this Maybelline color tattoo in Precious Pearl. This was limited edition, but it's just a really light pearl color and the reason that I'm using this is it has an actual like pink duochrome to it. So you could really use whatever you wanted. You don't even have to have something that would have a hint of pink in it, but I just think it will make the pink colors stand out. So I'm going to blend that all over the lid and up to the brow. For this look, I'm going to be using my Coastal Scents Winterberry Palette. Now, if you want to buy any of the colors that I'm using separately, I will actually have the numbers of each hot pot listed on my website, and I will have that linked below so you guys can go directly to the post. However, this palette is so cheap, and you get the most gorgeous colors. So I'm going to be starting out with this pink color right here. It's just a really nice kind of medium toned pink I'd say and I'm going to take this on my brush and start kind of in the middle of my lid and work my way out leaving the inner corner clean. Taking a pencil brush I'm going to go into this kind of raisiny shade. It's kind of a pinkish purple brown. I don't really know how to explain it. And I'm going to take this on my brush and just kind of work that into the outermost portion of my lid. So starting right there in the outer corner and then working my way really slightly into the crease. And you can see it just gives a really pretty effect. I'm going to take a clean brush and just really lightly kind of blend the corners of that, not really diminishing the color too much because I'm going to use another color in this general area, but just blending it so it's not so harsh. I have switched over to my Naked Basics palette and using a fluffy brush, I'm going into Naked 2, just a nice light taupe and I'm going to blend this into my crease. Taking the same brush I kind of blended everything out with, I'm taking Foxy and I'm just going to put this right on the brow bone. You could definitely use um, your face powder or whatever matte highlight that you had, it's just that this one is very yellow toned and it matches my skin fairly well. And taking the smallest amount of Venus, which is just a nice shimmery highlight, it looks like this, it's kind of a champagne. I'm going to pop this right on the actual brow bone to kind of lift that area and bring some more light into the look. Going into my beloved Wet n Wild's Walking on Eggshells palette, I'm going to this eyelid shade which is just a very nice, like kind of neutrally pink, and I'm going to put this right on the inner corner where I left it free of any shadow to kind of create a gradient type effect from the really light pink to the medium toned pink to the almost purpley color. And it's just going to make everything really seamless and open up the eyes more. I've just taken a small amount of the, that same pink shade on this Real Techniques detail brush and I'm going to put this right on the inner corner because I'm going to be using some shadows in the lower lash line as well and I kind of want the lower lid to somewhat match the upper lid. Now I definitely want the same sort of effect on the lower lash line but using a little bit too much pink could make me look sick or like I have pink eye. The pink really brings out the green in my eyes but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going back into this purple shade that I put in the outer lid and I'm just going to load my brush with this. This is just going to go on the outer portion of the lid and I'm going to make sure that I connect it up to the rest of my makeup where that blends out this line's going to connect and I'm not going to bring this in too far, just maybe like a third of the way in. So I'm going to do that on the other side. Back into Naked Basics, back into Naked 2, that light taupe. I'm going to take this on that same little brush and just blend that into the middle portion of the lid so there is something lining from the purple all the way into that pink highlight in the inner corner. I'm not 100% pleased with the way that the purple and the pink kind of transitioned into each other in this part of my lid, so I'm going to really lightly take some of that pink and just kind of blend it 
so there's a more seamless transition and it's not just a harsh line. This is Kat Von D's Autograph Eyeliner in the color Pure Amore. It is a matte black liquid eyeliner and I'm going to line my upper lash line with this. While I am waiting for that liner to dry, because I always like to give my liquid eyeliner a lot of time to dry before I actually curl my eyelashes, because my eyelash curler always takes off my liquid liner. I don't know if I'm like the only person with that problem or what. So I'm using MAC Stunner Blush, and this is just a very pale, kind of baby pink, with really no shimmer at all. And this was limited edition, but I really... I just don't want too much with the cheeks and the lips because I do have so much pink on the eyes and I don't really want all of it kind of fighting each other, so any pale pink would do. I'm just going to put that right on the cheeks. This part is of course optional, but if you do want that princess glow, I'm going to go into Max Mineralize Skin Finish and Light Skin with a stippling brush. And this is just a nice light champagne color and I'm going to put this on my cheekbones. I love highlight. I have very dry skin, so I love anything that makes me look really glowy. I'm going to pop it right down the bridge of my nose, right there above my cupid's bow. That's a really nice trick if you want to like get it there, but you don't want it too concentrated. Just take whatever is left on your brush and kind of pop it right there. And then a little bit right above my eyebrows. Like I said, I don't want too much competing on my face, especially because the eyes are so pink and I don't want it to look clownish or anything like that. So for lips, I'm going to use this Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain in Cherish. And just put this all over the lips. Next, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Gloss in the color Nude Peach. And this is going to go just right in the center, and I'm going to work my way out. Now that the cheeks and lips are done, I'm going to go ahead and tight line my upper lash line using the Buxom Insider Eyeliner in the color Chocolate. You definitely don't need, like, this one. Any drugstore brown eyeliner would do. And I'm just going to really lightly... Press this in my upper waterline. I've curled my eyelashes and now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and I'm going to follow up with my Maybelline The Falsies. With that, the makeup is done. I'm actually going to go ahead and let down my bangs and I'm going to style them really quickly as well as this other part of the hair that I'm going to leave down from the ponytail because you can see it's looking a little messy and I will be right back. That is it for my makeup and my hair. I just kind of tied it up and then used this really pretty turquoise ribbon um, in my ponytail holder just to kind of jazz up the ponytail a little bit. I didn't really want to leave my hair down. I don't know why, but I just imagined her with like a really flirty, fun ponytail. So I left down a couple of curls. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of my full outfit right here. If you want to know any details about where I got anything, this dress is current, so you can actually buy it right now as far as I know, and I will have everything listed on my blog, and of course, I, like I said, will have that link to the bottom bar. That is going to be it for me today, and if you are enjoying these princess-inspired tutorials, make sure to give the video a thumbs up so I know that you are, and leave me a comment below telling me who you think tomorrow's princess is going to be. She's one of my favorites, and you guys actually have requested the look from her, so I'm pretty sure you you know who she is. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos for me. It's free and it makes my day every single time I see somebody has subscribed to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I love you girls so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!